What's up guys, the lazy goldmaker here with another gold making video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what you can do to make gold right now and uh, over the final stretch of the Shadowlands. We are now past the the peak demand and thus most likely the highest price we'll ever, ever see for most Shadowlands items and materials. Um, there's still profit to make in Shadowlands markets but uh, this is also a time where we gradually it makes sense to branch out into some other things and prepare for the longer haul if that's what you're interested in. So uh, yeah, let's go through them. The first thing you want to do is work them while they still work. Shadowlands markets, even though we're past the, the highest price we've ever seen for, for legendaries and anything else in the Shadowlands, they're still profitable, they're still selling, and uh, you should spend your time doing them. Cancel scanning legendaries or crafting item level 262 gear is still profitable even if it's a lot less profitable than it was a week ago or two weeks ago. Um, Catch-up gear, consumables, legendaries, everything is still useful. And there are many players missing rank 7s still, or that may want to gear an alt or off-spec at some point in the future. Um, some markets, markets even stay profitable all the way up until the final week of an expansion. Um, this is very, usually the case with catch-up gear. Um, the combatant gear in uh, BFA was profitable all the way up to the last week. The same was the case in Legion. Um, so there's no point in leaving any of the relevant Shadowlands markets just to leave them. Uh, but you can't spend less time on them. You don't. Sale rates are going to be a little bit slower. Cancel scans are going to be a little bit less valuable. So you, you, know, you don't have to cancel scan as much or craft as much to stay on top of them. Uh, which is why you're going to have more time to branch out into other markets and those other markets are also going to be more profitable in general because people spend less of their gold on legendaries and have more gold to finish their consumable cle or cosmetic collections, buy mounts, buy whatever else they want to do. Um, so uh, yeah. So one thing, generally speaking, most farming methods in World of Warcraft will tend to trend towards parity. Well, and parity is just a fancy word that means that they'll be roughly providing the same amount of gold per hour. Um, and that will also generally tend to work the same level as old world material farms. Um, so when demand isn't strong enough to support like excessive profits, because usually well, like at the launch of, of 9.2, for instance, legendaries had excessive profits, way higher, uh, extreme gold per hour uh, potential from farming progenitor essentia, for instance. Um, so uh, prices will fall down and they'll trend towards the same for most farming methods. Um, and uh, that's what's happening right now. Uh, Progenitor Essentia probably going to stabilize somewhere below 5,000 gold on most realms. Uh, once it's stabilized at the level of other farms. But uh, there isn't any such strict rule for crafting. Crafting profits don't are going to fall. But they don't have to fall to the exact same level. There's usually been like one or two crafting markets that are significantly better than others. Um, but uh, yeah, players are going to just spend more gold on other things than power increasing items. Um, they're going to spend a lot less gold on their mains. So they might spend more gold on their alts or on cosmetics. And those are the items that you should uh, prepare for. And having those in your back pocket is going to help out. Like I've been doing battle pet flipping for a very long time. Um, and having that always going in the background on my other realms means they're generating a couple of a couple of million gold, uh, well, not a month, but a couple of hundred thousand gold a month um, in sales. And I don't really have to to do much. I repost every every week at the moment because I'm spending all of my time in Shadowlands markets. But every couple of days is what I uh, what I usually do. So right now is where you want to spend some time setting up for the long term and branching out for the long term. Um, you can do this in a lot of different ways, but the main focus should be on cosmetic items because those are always the ones with, with very long term value. People are always going to care about looking cool as long as World of Warcraft exists, uh, at least to some extent. So things you can do include, well, you can farm for hard to get recipes like the Vial of the Sands right here. Um, you can set up alts for Sky Golem production. If you, um, if you haven't already, I have a post on how to do that. It's a very simple process. Um, that's some way you, you can generate some extra gold. Um, you can set up some battle pet flipping operations if you're interested in that. Um, or you can farm battle pets, start building up stock. You can uh, look to craft transmog from other expansions. 
or farm transmog recipes, buy transmog recipes on the auction house. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of armor and mounts that have value and that are going to hold value for a long time. Um, and it's the kind of markets where you can just spend um, 20 minutes restocking every two weeks and you'll have enough mounts and uh, cosmetics to last you for a while. And um, it's just going to bring in a steady amount of gold on the side always. Um, it's going to be useful even to have during the heydays of like, okay, we get legendaries. If you have a couple of mounts, just have some sky golems and keep posting them on the side. You'll get some extra sales. That's going to bring in 50k extra uh, in a week or 20k extra or three <laughs> or 300k extra if you have a lot of sky golems. Um, so just having those in your bankers is just very, very, very useful. The other trend that you can take uh, advantage of in general is the catch up. So uh, catch up markets are always really good in the final patch of an expansion also for after the initial burst so uh what does that mean that means uh, crafters mark gear crafters marks of the first ones if you have optional profession com uh, combinations uh that can be very profitable right now the the profit on crafters mark 4 is not particularly high in terms of raw gold because the uh, a lot of the crafters mark 4 marks are extremely cheap and uh, we could see a repeat of the situation of 9.1 where alchemy crafters marks of the chain dial were so cheap that if you didn't have that, then you couldn't compete at all. That's a possibility. We don't know yet. Uh, right now, most of the crafters marks of the first ones are fairly close in cost because still the progenitor essentia is a very large portion of that cost. But as essentia gets cheaper, we might see one or a profession or other edge the others out. Luckily, this time around, it's not that hard to farm up the reputation. It's a lot less annoying to farm um, to farm Sereth Mortis Rep than it is to far was to farm uh, <laughs> the uh, Archivist Codex for the Crafter's Mark of the Chain Dial. So uh, setting up uh, some extra crafters down the line or setting up some extra characters with uh, with honored reputation is just not that much work. So uh, that's also something you can do right. Start doing right now. Just get two extra characters and crank them through the enlightened rep and then you'll be able to uh, set all of your crafters to have optimal combinations if you uh, if you so desire another good friend uh, that uh, a lot of you made a ton of gold with in 9.1.5 is also back the uh where i'm of course talking about the mage tower it's back forever now and uh, that means that there's a lot of crafted items from old expansions that are now suddenly power increasing items relevant to max level characters so there's a bunch of enchants, consumables, and crafted gear, gems as well. Um, Wowhead has guides on this, both the uh, gearing guide and the gems, enchants, and consumable guides. Um, so as an example, you can see right here that the price of, uh, um, of Mark of the Hidden Satyr enchants, well, they're showing about a 4,000 gold profit. Uh, this is a Legion enchant, that's one of the best ones for, um, for the Mage Tower due to scaling. So um, just look through the guides. All There's a lot of very, very profitable items right now. Another example is the Living Steel Belt Buckle, um, which on this realm, well, the Living Steel is going for 1,200, the Belt Buckles, 8,000. Um, so those are uh, very, very profitable, and that's going to be a thing right now. And the Mage Tower is here forever. Obviously, we're not going to see this amount of, uh, of profits forever. But it does mean that there's a lot of old expansion uh, recipes that are going to be economically relevant as a power-increasing item for quite a while. So that's also something you can set up. You can set up a one poster where you add whatever recipes you have if you played the game for a while, or target some of the recipes, and you just... Log in on that guy every every day or every other day to just repost everything and then fire and forget and you should be getting a good number of sales. Um, so definitely something to take advantage of. So guys, that, that's it. Um, to summarize what I think you should be doing right now, keep working the Shadowlands markets you are in as long as they are still profitable. They are going to be uh, great, particularly things that are focused on catch-up gear for uh freshly dinged characters that's always always relevant all the way until the final day of the expansion pretty much uh, then you can work on getting cosmetic recipes work on getting mount recipes uh, or farming those types of items if you're interested in that and uh, crafting them to keep on the auction house lastly you can also put some effort into getting the recipes that are useful 
for the mage tower and keeping those items onto the auction house because the mage tower is now back in town so if you learned something from this make sure you leave a like um so you'll get more recommended more videos like this and uh subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further videos thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video goodbye guys